Hello, dear friends. Here we are at Kardec Radio. We're here with you in 21 days to a spiritual awakening. And today's day 20th. Yes, we are a day away from wrapping up this beautiful journey of Brother Jacob. Brother Jacob, the author of the book Voltaire in Portuguese. In English, I am back. He's telling us as a spiritist spirit his discovery regarding life beyond the teachings he read in the book. So it's very interesting for us because we feel like we're reading these books, we're studying, and we're coming to know that life is much more than we can even imagine. As Kardec explains to us in the book, the spirit's book, influence of the spirits the spirits influence us more than we can imagine and we actually know much less than we can imagine too much less so that's why we need to study like in the book thought in life there are two chapters about instruction and education and it says clearly to us that in order for us to evolve, he begins the chapter on education saying, Christ said, let your light shine. And it is he, the divine master, who is our sublime guiding light in the evolution of this planet. People used to believe that the Lord's advice was only a mystical call, urging superficial worshippers. worshipers. Today we recognize that his lesson should be applied in all situations of everyday life. He is our therapy. Our therapy. He is the one. A deeper study of the human body, of the mind. And he says here, thought is a creative force projected by the person who generates it by means of subtle waves in circuits of action and reaction. Again, we say the human mind is a mirror of light which projects and assimilates rays. That's why he says, let your light shine, meaning that the potential of light in our spirit should shine in its fullness. And the only way to do so is to educate our minds. So, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Right? Yes, the full potential, the full potential of all of us. So Brother Jacob really teaches us. Today he's gonna begin a chapter talking about the sublime surprise. And he talks about learning. That's why we're talking about education. We're talking about instruction. It is vital for all of us to learn more, to get to know more, especially know ourselves. Okay? Before I say hi to the community and begin the chapter, we're going to remind everyone that we're here also supporting causes that are helping the world. The Fraternity Without Borders has been helping children and families who are in the worst conditions ever in Africa. You can help by going to fraternitywithoutborders.org and donating or also sponsoring a child. It's up to you. But do something. Buy a t-shirt. Talk to Lea Severo, to Angelita. And here we have Kara. Another way for you to help. Kara Correa is here with us. Hello, friends. Remember that you can ingest your daily pew of trust. Remember that our guiding model jesus is like a guiding light that shines upon us and we have beautiful spirits like dr Diaz da cruz that is here to give us a little flame of love and light to feed our souls every day and by purchasing this beautiful book you not only nourish your beautiful heart but you help nourish the lives of our brothers and sisters in Africa. So please open your heart to the beautiful light of our Master and consider 
helping our brothers and sisters by ingesting your daily beautiful pills of trust. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. It's good to have Carol here with us in the good spirits and all of you. So let me say hi. Hello, Leia. How are you? Hello, Cesa. How are you? Andrea Torres. How are you, my friend? And here we have Julicia. So good to have you here, too. It's good to have this international classroom and this brotherhood. We're supporting one another in our growth, collective growth. Danny, how are you, Danny? Big kiss to you and Erica. McCarthy, Claire, you're here. Welcome. So, how are you, Katia? How are you, Sunshine? Thank you, Sunshine, for everything. And Adilson. Adilson is here. He's sharing the good news. That's good. Share, share, share. Andrea, too. And Karina. How are you, Karina? Mm? As Sunshine is saying, for only $20 a month, we can sponsor a child and make a huge difference. Yeah, it is true. Sunshine is saying hi to Carol. Eloise. How are you, Eloise? Karina, which book we're studying next? Mentor Joseph. What is the answer? As soon as I find out, I will let you know. <laughs> Sincerely, the spirits, they have surprises. It's about a surprise tonight. Yes. Teresa Castro, how are you? Shall we? Who likes to learn? Rudy. Love to all, love to all to begin our study. Rudy. We're going to begin. It's a sublime surprise. It's the, almost the last chapter. In the book, I am back by Brother Jacob through the devoted hands of Chico Xavier. Thank you, Chico Xavier. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Learning, says Brother Jacob, will always be valuable work of the heart, for the heart. Learning will always be valuable work for the heart learning heart work you see learning as a valuable work for the heart some people are experiencing issues of the heart make your time useful and problems will go away the best therapy is occupying our time usefully so we can overcome any problem thinking about your problems your shortcomings your just keep focused on the work of the good and everything else is just gonna solve by itself soon after my coming he says observing the struggle for the extension of the good unfolds in all directions I believed in the possibility of continuing in the same place of intensive and activity to which had consecrated me on earth. Give me one second, I'm just going to say. The inner light revealed by several friends without the slightest bit of clarity signaling presence was the first evidence to suggest a change. Oh no, don't worry. No, Karen, it's okay. The inner light revealed by several friends without the slightest bit of clarity signaling the presence was the first evidence to suggest a change in my mental attitude. This is very interesting because often we see people who are more evolved than us and we don't recognize, we try to put them down saying, oh, they must have a shortcoming. They can't be that great. 
And Brother Jacob is teaching us humility. He's saying, you know, they are already there. Now I'm going to work on myself. On earth, even though we may be spiritists, we're still at this level. Saying, well, I can be, I may not be that great, but this person must have something that people don't know. You see? Brother Jacob is teaching us humility. Leave alone. If people are great, that's their, that's their issue with God. <laughs> we're supposed to be good. But the problem is, what are we doing to be better, my friends? So today we want to focus on this. All right. Hello, Jailton. Hello, Silvia. Welcome. And Teresa Catapano. Thank you. What would be worse to me without the probabilities of beneficial accomplishment? Their service ranged in different lines. Mm. Just as the vehicle needs fuel to get around, I need the quality factor for the new fight I joined. So he keeps telling us about how this inner evaluation is a blessing, though unpleasant. Little by little, I understood that it was necessary to listen with humility in order to act with benefit. Direct contact with an ordinary obsessor had cleared my conscience. He had pointed out the shadows that still enveloped me and which the self-sacrificing friends of the first hour watched over, moved by the, their mercy. Thank you, Mark, for checking the app. And if you can, call the police because the neighbors are making too noise, too much noise. <laughs> He knows what I mean, <laughs> yeah, he right? Yeah. He knows. All right. So here we are. It's imperative to avoid precipitation and to meditate before attacking new, before engaging new works. We really need to be less impulsive. How many people say, but I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. Uh, but we're going to learn now. Wishing to prepare myself properly in order to serve, I came to visit with colleagues those spirits who were suffering. Okay, stop. Major rule for tonight. We are learning here. The need for preparation in order to serve better. The need of order in order to be charitable. Many people, they think that goodwill is enough. And the good spirits in several books action and reaction this book and many others they tell us order is the basis of charity chapter two of the book action and reaction by andre luis Chico xavier order is the basis the foundation of what charity so saying i want to help and being upset if you're not called to be helping is a sign that we're inferior. Because when we're really superior, we're not bothered if people don't recognize us. We keep helping whatever way we can and not the way we want to help. So that's one major lesson for us today here at Kardec Radio through Brother Jacob. Okay? Hello, John the Rose. Right? Yeah, Brother Jacob is teaching us a major lesson. You know, I, I learned a lot with our friend Jorge Godinho Neri. I remember he uh, was visiting because he as a, a Brazilian um, representative of the government he had to travel to different places and one day he was in a location where people told him told were told that he was prepared he could help but the directors of the spirit descent didn't know him they trusted the people who were referring him giving recommendations 
and he was a mature man with uh, children uh, my age at the time like younger than today but not too young and they didn't give me him any task for a year and in his case he was already a very practicing spiritist he didn't get upset he didn't leave he was not upset he just kept folding the chairs opening the chairs helping clean the center until one day they realized he's a wonderful person. He's very knowledgeable. He, they started giving him a word, the word. And you know, a year later, he was moved by the government to another location. I remember the spiritist directors of that center tell me, oh, we really tortured him. And I said, I don't think you did because he didn't feel tortured. Yeah, but we made a mistake. We waited too long to trust him. And I said, you know, but I'm glad that you you went this way because we learned his humility was a lesson for us. His loving kindness, his lack of he was not defiant, he was obedient, he was and he was who he is. Now imagine us. We barely know spiritism. And we're saying, pick me, pick me, pick me. But if people don't pick me, then I am upset. It shows our spiritual hierarchy. Right? Uh, by the way, Mentor Joseph has been saying, read the spiritual hierarchy items in the Spirit's book, starting from item 100, which is not a question, it's item, and forward because it's a measure for us regarding ourselves. We can get to know more about who we are. Right, Lea Severo, it is about order and discipline. Hello, Nico. It's a Abby. How are you? E Paula, Ana Paula, how are you? Okay, so they were visiting. Brother Andrade and Marta and other friends who gave me continuous assistance looking now for my needs of readjustment left me under the exclusive care of the school of enlightenment which i began to like to like very very much each lesson was a new page of revealing wisdom bringing me to the desired improvement I saw, therefore, in practical demonstrations to awaken my higher energies with the youthful attention of the university devoted to the books, interested in consciously organizing the future itself. Was it necessary to seek humility in self-knowledge through accusations deserved or undeserved? I would not lack the courage to do it. Whenever the natural intervals of the studies happened and the tasks of the Enlightenment Institute favored me, I di it directed me somewhat to the zones of transposed spirits exercising my capacity of support. So in between lessons, he would go and practice being at service, helping others. From mouths of countless unhappy and ignorant people, I heard long memories of more actions they criticized me sharply they discussed my objectives and intentions old faults from the past which i suppose were forgotten were brought to the surface of the verbal retreats errors of youth omissions of old age occasional gestures of harshness small unfulfilled promises unresolved problems of feeling everything finally was resolved by the enemies of the good of whom i approached the best dispositions of fraternal understanding errors of the youth i think that's when things really get crazy and especially nowadays because there are no major rules of engagement people even adults they push youth to be careless 
They say, you're young. Come on, enjoy. Enjoy what? Working more? Studying more? Of course. No, no. Lazing more? No. <laughs> Be more lazy? No. No, thank you. It's, it induces us to errors. Later, we're going to regret. Omissions of old age. You know, when people are getting older, and they're like, oh, I don't want to argue with anybody. I don't want this and that and the other. They're going to regret. Thank you, Brother Jacob. We love you. Occasional gestures of harshness. We think it's okay. You see, we're in trouble here now. Unfulfilled promises. Unresolved problems of the feeling. Depending on the new lessons, he stored much such mater material with the care of the forewarned men who hold suitable lanterns for the dark hours. On many occasions, I turned away from the field of struggle in tears, considering the allegations that were thrown into the f my face. But what to do? This, of course, was the best way to identify my own defects and remove them. Living lessons, he says. For more than 200 days, 200 days, less than a year, of course, but past half a year, I devoted myself to the theory of enlightenment in school, of, in the school of enlightenment, and to the intensive practice of the teachings, together with my unfortunate brothers, when one night, aha, back to the spiritual home alone, I was assaulted by a furious group of discarnated clergymen. You want to see the picture? You do? Mm -hmm. Yes, Gary saying, yes, we do. Let us see it. <laughs> I'm going to show you the picture. It's like a movie. Look at this. Ooh. You see, 200 years. He's working every day. Da 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 da. And look at this elder. How are you, Lisa Telis, Angelita? Look, he is there, Brother Jacob. And he says, I was assaulted by a furious group of discarnated clergymen who showed in their words and gestures profound ignorance and pitiful foolishness. As it seemed to me, they were coming in my direction, trying to infuse me with imbalance and terror. Wearing hoods of darkness, I counted them one by one. There were 16 sinister-looking figures. They approached me, violent and sarcastic. They recalled the attacks I had sometimes unthinkingly made on the priests. They covered me with insults and threatened me without mercy. I remembered the antipathy I had wrongfully assigned to the respectable class. And I satisfied, and satisfied, I recognized myself transformed, different. Those wrong fists raised against me did not intimidate or suggest a reaction. I found myself calm, yet surprised. But I brought to mind the gospel lessons that I was in full swing and isolating the mind from the hellish shouting I meditated. Has not the Lord counseled us to pray for those who persecute us? Had he not exemplified the exchange of good for evil? He Did he not ask us to help the, animal, the enemies and to support, support those who slander and hate us? Continue here with me, please. Yeah. And he kept asking, like asking, touched by a sincere desire to help those spirits. I gave myself up to prayer. Not as, 
at other as other times when I just said words without feelings. I put effort into my soul to be useful to the whole group of unconscious entities. I did not really have anything good about myself. However, Jesus remains rich in kindness and tenderness in all the days of his life. After a few minutes, I noticed that as they contemplated me in prayer, the bystanders drew back a little, though they continued to gawn at me with scorn and mockery. When I paused in the prayer to the divine friend, referring to the afflictions that those unhappy souls naturally had to experience along the regenerating path, and reflecting as to the anguish they were afflicted with, a remarkable silence was made around me. Never perhaps as in those moments I felt so strongly interested in someone, as if I were contending for the help of brothers and daughters of my own being. When I unclenched my wet eyelids with the weeping of emotion to which the prayer had led me, I noticed that the opponents were lowering their heads and vanquished. I tried to summon them back so we could talk fraternally, but the voice lay buried in my throat. I had survived the unplanned. Taken with astonishment, I noticed that the soft light of a charged purple glowed around me. Oh Lord, how can we paint the commotion of the free soul to our companions who are still bound to the limitations of the flesh? The flesh. You're surprised he has light. Yuppie! Surprised by such brightness, I felt myself attached to the ground. Who would be radiating it to my side? I closed my eyes again to be thankful to the presence of the benefactor who was certainly there with me. Yet, in spite of gathering myself in the intimacy of, in, inside of me, I still saw the rays renewing themselves within me. Intrigued, I took refuge in prayer again. He cannot believe, he's like, no, this is not my light. No, this is not my light. <laughs> This is not my light. Yes, it is. And when in the midst of the luminescent mass, I saw the figure of someone who sought to be evident. It was beating course of fire to stimulate my heart for the good. Jacob, he said, encouraging me, do not marvel at the light that surrounds you. It belongs to you. Let it shine. Let's sing to Brother J. This light of yours, you are going to let it shine. This light of yours, you are going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Do you doubt your light? Let me tell you, don't. Because God created you. And if you do, you're doubting God. No, Venice, yes. No, yes. Believe in your good because God created you. Believe in the good always. I am a good person. I am a good child of God and I am unfolding this goodness. Blossoming, right? Elder working hard for the retreat tomorrow. Good job, Elder. This light of yours, you are gonna let it shine. This light of yours, you're gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Some people ask me, Vanessa, why you're singing? You know, I confess to you, I have a lot of um, intellectual training, but I learned that you associate knowledge with music, it sticks more deeply. Neuroscience shows it to us. So it's a good technique. It's a therapeutic technique. Ideas that are sticking with the rhythm of the songs. It's like Jesus' parables. It stays. So if tomorrow you're doubting, 
your light. If any day you doubt that you can do something, sing to yourself, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Sing to you, my friend. And reinforce your divine nature. Embrace you with much love. Okay? Karina, you're adorable. Solange, Rita de Cássia, welcome, welcome, dear soul. Now you're here making miracles. Rita de Cássia, Rita de Cássia. Thank you. By the way, we'll be in Atlanta in December. We'll talk more about this, but we may see you and friends. Okay, so what does Brother Bittencourt Sampaio tell our friend that can serve us too? The concentration of true love. This light is born of your inner energies, now guided to supreme goodness. You see, when he felt that those troubled clergy spirits were like brothers and sisters, he really raised his vibration. The concentration of true love produces blessed clarity in the soul. Light is divine substance generated in the higher sources of the eternal spirit. Happy of you who has unselfishly understood the need to quench your own caprices so that the will of the Lord would favor you the sanctuary of the conscience. The mind that throws away from itself the obscure and heavy material of the less worthy interests prepares valiantly for the heavenly sign of spontaneous radiance. Undesirable worries have passed. You begin to renounce with sincerity the old man, so the new one by Christ is forming in your heart. Blessed be your hope. Do not forget that love always gives, specially of itself, its own strengths and joys. For now, the rays of goodwill will shine forth in the culminating hours of faith. Love without passion. Wait without anguish. Work without expectation of reward. Of reward. Serve all without asking why. Learn the lessons of light without rebelliousness. Humble yourself without noise before the superior design. Renounce your own desires. Humble you without noise before the superior designs. Sorry. I'm just reading it again. Your light will grow with the expansion of your devotion to the infinite good. See? Some people are like, Oh, Vanessa, I don't have time to help others. Okay. But the day you do, you're going to shine the light. So it's up to you. You want to be in the dark? In the light. But I need to work. Yeah, who doesn't? But you always find time, at least once a day, to do something and ask nothing in reward. Right? Thank you, Rita de Cassia. And Hosey, how are you? Okay. Wise warning. You want to listen? Me too. Oh, mama mia. What is this wise warning? Are you ready for it? You are, Carol? Yes. Wise warning. What is it? And you know, it's interesting. I was talking to a friend today, and she was saying to me, like, these books are not in English yet, so we need to read because you don't have the material yet available, published. So that's why we need to read somewhat some passages, okay? So hold on. Hold it. Let's work together. Adolfo Xavier. Hello, my friend. Wise warning. Sweet and indefinable emotion made me bow under the weight of tears of recognition and joy. Noticing that the messenger, Bidin Kursampar, 
kept silent at my side, waiting for me to speak, I recalled the gospel teaching and repeated the sacred words. Let the will of the Lord be made in the slave. Who said that? It's a quiz. Quiz, quiz. Let the will of the Lord be made in the slave. These are sacred words in the gospel. Who said that? Quiz. I'm not going to say alternatives. Who knows the answer? Everybody wake up. It's not in midnight yet. Hmm? It begins with M. And it's not your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Let the will of the Lord be made me, be made in the slave. Who said that? Don't go to sleep yet. Stay here. What is it? Huh? It begins with M. What is that, Andrea? Mãe me? What is this? I don't know. Rose, thank you. So what is it, friends? Let the will of the Lord be made in the slave. I know, if you're listening to this on demand, keep thinking, because you'll never forget this one. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let the will of the Lord be made in the slave. Mother Mary, Andre, is that what you mean? Mother Mary. Mary, Mother Mary. Remember when Umberto de Campos said in the book Good News that she was by the cross and she was puzzled about the whole thing and she was like, oh my gosh, inside. And then the angel said to her, let the will of the Lord maybe be made in the slave and she embraced it. Okay. Yes, sell you. It is Mary. Okay, Mother Mary. Exactly, Andrea. Right? Mother Mary. Mother Mary. And because, he says, it thrilled me to relate my new experience to the companions of, of the, that I left behind. I prayed loyally. Beating cord, my friend, on the plane of the flesh, our brethren mostly have the wrong concept of elevation and salvation. Many believe in religious belief, and others suppose that it is enough to do the duty of charitable and mechanical assistance to help the needy and suffering neighbors to unconsciously ascend to happy worlds. How many people they say, and they are working like this. Oh my God, today I have to see the homeless. Oh. No, do you like it? Yes, I do, but I'm so tired. It's too much. Oh. We know somebody who does this. It's so funny. And it's, it's not too close to us. Somebody who is very far away. And then, you know, it doesn't work. If we are dragging to do the good works, we shouldn't do it. Because it's not about doing it, it's about how we do it. Mentor Joseph always says, Vanessa, it's not about what you do, but how you do it. And I say, okay, begin again. <laughs> okay, I got it, begin again. Begin again, begin again. Yes, it's not about doing mechanical works of charity. It's about feeling. It's about being compassionate, being kind, giving a hand. Oh, but I help my family, but oh my gosh, my family. That is not helping. When we help, we're humble. We don't throw it on people's faces. We don't demand Jesus said to Bartholomew, truth does not demand, it transforms. It transforms. So it's silent. Teresa Castro, let the will of the Lord be made in the slave. Yes, yes, it means. May the will of God 
May I fulfill God's will as if I am my slave, meaning obeying deeply without questioning. Because the slave does not ask, it just fulfills. And it's contingent to the will of the Lord. So when we do what God wants just because, and like, why you're doing this? Well, because it is the God wants me to do this. The good, the good. Okay. The good is anyone experiencing a blank screen? If you are, please reply. Thank you, thank you, Teresa Castro. So as Teresa pointed that out, with the meaning we really need to ask ourselves. Is it hard for us to fulfill God's will? Can I give you an example? If you're a father who has an addicted son or daughter, how hard is it to fulfill God's will when you don't agree that your son or daughter is addicted and you feel that hatred? You feel like punishing. But God doesn't want us as parents to do that. God is asking us to love them unconditionally. It's hard. Because we sometimes want to be more than God. Okay? So let's think about this. This is our homework. Let the will of the Lord be made. Uh, be made inside of us and may we fulfill it okay so Pite Sampaio was listening to Jacob few are warned about the needs to improve themselves in order to radiate only the love that the master has bequeathed to us am I allowed to give the news of the new sphere perhaps my humble personal experience will benefit some of them so that they decide to practice the gospel and serve it above themselves. With forgetfulness of vanity and pride, of selfishness and discord, which often tangles our hearts. Okay? Thank you, Rosie, for replying to us. So, thank you, Brother Jacob, because you brought us these teachings. Yes, Jacob, you will be authorized to write it to the news. However, contain your impulses that suggest such initiative. Avoid personal references in your fraternal correspondence. Mamma mia. Mm -hmm. Contain the impulses. In many circumstances, the site the quotation of a simple name causes enormous mental disturbances around the creature to which we refer. Do not try to impose convictions of any, on any spirit, even in dealing with the most de de deeply loved. Tell your case quietly to those who can hear you away from the sick curiosity that never encourages serious work without forgetting the function of time and the sowing of faith. Learn to wait on uplifting service, personalizing good works. Be aware of evil desires, of everything to say indiscriminately in a single minute. There is occasion to plant and cultivate, harvest and select. Truth is like the light, which not a properly, properly dosed can blind the eyes instead of illuminating them. Let your news therefore prudently without the presumption of being harnessed and accepted in the immediacy of the human struggle and calm yourself without delay. Convinced that every creature, as much as it happened to us, will one day leave the asset of the flesh with everything that concerns him or her in the field of educational illusion or devastating shade. It helps the plant to develop and flower, but do not violate the germs so that the fruit appears at the right time. Then Bittencourt said good-naturedly and friendly words, leaving me in the comforting certainty that it would be possible for me to enlighten the brothers of struggle and ideal as to the surprises that had awaited me beyond death. 
what greater joy could congratulate me on the heart of a fighter? You see, he worked for 200 days nonstop. 100 days. And now, okay? And now we can see. He got it. Friends, it doesn't fail. We work, we make efforts, things unfold. You know, water molecules, H2O, two H, hydrogen, and one oxygen, make water. Oh, but what if, no, 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 this is life, H-H-O, water. If you make efforts to do the good, the light's gonna shine. I make efforts, but nobody sees who cares, God is seeing it, God is supporting. The most important one is watching, supporting, sustaining you. God is sponsoring you. And people are like, I don't have a sponsor. Yes, you do. But one that does not announce. Silent. God is investing on you, on me, on Carol, everybody. God is supporting, sponsoring, sustaining, giving life, saying, go on. Go, 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 go. Don't stop, don't stop. So life is like H2O, water. You put the pieces together, it's going to form two hydrogens and one oxygen forms water. It can't go wrong. Without charity, there's no salvation. Without charity in the sense of the good heart. When you see somebody, let me tell you something about emotional presence. This is what we call emotional presence. When you're talking to somebody, practice eye-to-eye -eye contact. Practice like as if you have a microscope. Focus on the person and see deeper. Ask their name. Focus on feeling their presence. Observe or just be there. This is emotional presence. And by focusing kindly on people, we're going to feel more empathetic. Not pathetic. <laughs> empathetic. Okay? And we're going to feel like that we are here to help. But who are they? I don't know. They're children of God. But they said, why are we helping this person? Well, why not? Everybody's a child of God. But they are refugees. Uh, well, this life we may not be yet, but who knows tomorrow? Hmm? Oh, but that person, this person, don't calculate relationships. Be present, embracing, devote to each and every person. That feeling of awkwardness and strangeness we should overcome by feeling the person, by being close. And that's exactly what promoted the externalization of the divine essence of Brother Jacob, the light. It's just an externalization of what is inside, the seed of God's love. So I don't even, even need to be proud of it because I'm just the co-creator. God is the creator, right? Exactly. So he's saying, there is a song I always sing to my daughter. Don't stop believing. Dun, 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 dun. Exactly. Exactly. And sing away. Sing away. This little light of mine. Feel your light here. Feel it. It's not important to know only. We need to feel it, Jesus said. Feel it. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Thank you, friends. Tomorrow, last chapter. Come back 21 days 
to a spiritual awakening and we're almost awake till tomorrow right carol yes bye friends let your light shine always